like have so. you seen this omni you stand in this corner by the wheelbarrow and you aim at the bottom left part of this window Time to jump. and the the tp it like rotates like if you look at the mini map while it's moving here and it actually goes this way and look at this Main, dude. <laughs> Yoru swaps between like cringe lurk and Chad entry with team roll. So you just did the entry with team and you've swapped to the like covering flank slash cringe lurk roll. But now before you cover that flank, throw your TP like that. So you can switch roles again. One of the, my favorite players to watch for this is actually Tens. Tens plays a ton of Yoru in solo queue and he's actually prep, really prep. And the map where you're going to see this most commonly is like Pearl, where He'll push with the team B, but he'll leave his teleporter back here. He'll like take B site. He'll take the TP. Then he'll throw his like secondary teleporter back B long and he'll take this mid lurk roll. He'll take some contact, take a fight, and then he'll go back B long and join the team again. So this switching back and forth is one of the like bread and butter play styles of Yoru. So you want to always go from either lurk to team back to lurk. Forgive my thing. Or you want to go team to lurk to team. You always want to have this third transition planned. So this round that you're playing here is a team lurk team round. Do you see? Because we started with the team with our ult. We TP'd onto this lurk roll. But now we need to prepare our last TP to go back to the team. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my official Discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin. Here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. What's the breakfast of Radiant players? Light breakfast, no complex carbs. Complex carbs are all right if you're going to be very highly active during the day. But let's be honest, you're a Radiant player, you're probably not going to the gym. Exercise help with hitting Radiant? Uh, yes, yes. Um, mental health in general helps. And so exercise can improve confidence. Confidence is one of the most important factors. Haven? Yoru? Yes! We're playing Yoru! Let me explain why this is really exciting. One of my private students who's close to Radiant, we're going to play his Radiant rank up game on stream. Rag? Yoru main. Look at our current best map. Yeah, that's right. It's Haven. Rag's already immortal. Oh, yeah, man. He's top 1,000. He's on the grind. Oh, wait, one sec. I have to boot up this map because there's no way you know all the tech. And I know all the tech. Everyone's going to go into unrated on Haven later today and ruin some lobbies after I show this stuff. Okay, okay. Like have you seen this? From a main dude. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's watch the VOD. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a bunch of these. Show you a bunch of these. Oh, I like this. I like this. Holy cow. Okay, okay. Bad. What the? F what is this play? He breaks your clone and you pop TP garage? No, 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 no. That's, that's so alpha. Rotate. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we, we rotate. rotate. There's, there's, there's a lot. lot. Oh, yeah. never mind, never mind. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm a bit worried about this play. I think it's almost too crazy. It's almost too crazy. A play like that, I'd be surprised if your conversion is significantly above 50%. I'll walk up C then. I like this. Contact us, blood up C. What? Did somebody say C? Well, you think I don't have the C lineup? You stand in this corner and you aim at this line here where these textures collide. Well, bam. And that goes right into their spawn. Right into the spawn. Yeah. All right, all right. Back to the vibe. Back to the vibe. Lineup is lenient. Uh, it's lit. Spike down. See. It's just never going to work. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a problem that people fall for all the time. This usually leads to this debate in the lower elo community there's no debate in the higher elo community lots of lower elo players will tell you that this smoke sucks and they're gonna tell you it sucks because you always die just like you kind of died here i'll oh, forgive my smoke placement uh, but they're gonna be like this smoke sucks you always die and that's not true the smoke's really good but if you play around it wrong yeah you are gonna die you are gonna die because if you just walk up you're gonna get clapped yeah just like this so when you throw that smoke, you want to throw it off rip 
And you gotta chill for a bit. You gotta chill for a bit. You need that guy to blow through some clips. And then you may consider pushing up. Problem here is we've already been spotted out garage. And so the C presence is really likely. And we're just crying in the club. I'm gonna troll. What the hell? Okay, okay. So you know how a lot of the time I give people the advice to always push with your teammates if they're getting dumb? Always an exception to every rule. This is an exception. You don't need to push with this guy because you have so many numbers that if this guy just goes and throws his life away, you're still 4v2 post plant with sight control. So I would just watch this guy uh, throw his life away and laugh at him. Hey, he got his. You're better. You're better. Yeah, they have both their duelists playing A, most likely. Okay, they have both their duelists playing A. Well, we not we gotta go one cog further from this Astra's statement. I hope you realize they might op this round. Well, they have Discord Echo. Yeah, I think they're playing with Breach. That's actually a perfect duo. Breach Yoru is so broken. Can you flash over? You pop the Yoru wall, you just ping the guy, and then they throw the Discord stud at the ping. Yeah, there. Backside, ready to go. You ready? Okay. Here come my team. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Three, Three two, one. Oh, are you stunned? What? Ooh. <laughs> no! No! Shot! You killed two while breach stunned? Okay, okay. This is unacceptable, though. This is your duo. Oh, are you stunned? He's just Discord Daniel. Oh, are, are you stunned? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Joe's backside as well. I it doesn't know. matter. I just, I just Take a chance. All right. What I love doing here, toss the... You got two TPs? Toss one into their spawn. When this TP thing's yellow, it's a free ability. It's going to go away anyways. Just toss one into their spawn. It's like insurance. You don't need to... Get... Alpha. Alpha. Thank you. This dude's listening to me. No, chill, chill, chill. Yeah, okay. Our Astra got us. But you got to understand, we got to stay in the pocket. In the pocket is a saying from Jazz. And it means in your flow state, in your comfort zone. Don't let me into my zone. What's that? You let me into my zone. You know what I'm talking about? You're not in your zone when you're out here. You got to get in the pocket, man. You got to lean back. Yoru zone is close cover. And you can like flash around this corner if they come out and then sit them down. When you're out here, what's your playbook? Your playbook is just fight them. And that's no fun. You don't want to just fight them. You want to you wanna get in your zone. Use some cover. You bait them out. They're pushing you. And then you TP in their spawn as you jump away. That's in the zone. This is your zone over here. Uh, your zone. This could be all right, too. Some type of cover. Some type of cover, please. All of these are good. All of these are good. Oh, this is so yeah, cringe. Uh, if you're doing with this breach and you're about to do what I think you're going to do, this is one of the things that got Cody to rank one in like episode five act one when he was grinding. He just played with Zetal who picked breach. He Yoru ult, ping the guy, and Zetal just popped the Watch stun. The and then you just come out of Yoru ult. It's undodgeable. It's clean. Stunning Omen. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This shit's so broken. <laughs> One on B. Okay. Okay. I love this. Now, Yoru has... This is exactly correct usage of our TPs. However, we need to... We need to slightly adjust. So, you've correctly identified. We don't really have a trip. And Yoru swaps between, like, Cringe Lurk and Chad entry with team role. So you just did the entry with team and you've swapped to the like covering flank slash cringe lurk roll. But now before you cover that flank, throw your TP Time to jump. like that. So you can switch roles again. So now you're you're here covering flank. You take your fight. But let's say they're not here. You see all three. Now you're in their heck and spawn and we can continue maximizing our value. And you'll see this. Um, One of the, my favorite players to watch for this is actually tens tens plays a ton of yoru in solo queue and he's actually prep really prep and the map where you're going to see this most commonly is like pearl where he'll push with the team b but he'll leave his teleporter back here he'll like take b site he'll take the tp then he'll throw his like secondary teleporter back b long and he'll take this mid lurk roll he'll take some contact take a fight and then he'll go back b long and join the team again 
So this switching back and forth is one of the like bread and butter play styles of Yoru. So you want to always go from either Lurk to Team back to Lurk, or give my thing, or you want to go team to lurk to team. You always want to have this third transition planned. So this round that you're playing here is a team lurk team round. Do you see? Because we started with the team with our ult. We TP'd onto this lurk roll. But now we need to prepare our last TP to go back to the team. Uh, it could even be as simple as a TP that lands like default any way we can get back to the homies okay i hope that makes sense that's how you play yoru you've got to you switch between these roles very quickly and you essentially cover two options at once you guys you guys push push them all? Them all? so i love that we're covering flank but we need to be prepped to join the team faster like that should have been automatic that tp right there you got the right idea Oof. yeah a bunch of ones oh we're rushing we're rushing it too much we're rushing it too much the bomb is down stop hunting these fights so aggressively you want to play like a rat when the bomb is down you're back here you don't see them they're pushing your team you've got that teleporter back sight are kind of down for you to cover the space like this take some fights maybe even fake the teleport use your util really play post plant the bomb's down it's kind of i feel like it's going through. this is great this is great you're about to do a lurk team lurk round okay so I always want you to be mentally present of what type of style you're about to run. So here you're setting matter. the TP to join the team. And you're going to go play Lurk. And this is fire. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't just do that. Ready? <laughs> Yeah. I don't uh, I don't think you need no, I don't I think I need anything. to comment on that round I think you kind of know what you did I can summon right side ready okay and this is this is the third usage of the TP which is valid this is an entry TP and these you'll see all the time especially if you watch Egster this is his style Egster really plays entry Yoru pretty much exclusively oh here we go you've never heard of him he's a high radiant Yoru player but you can see the act badges in the game and a lot of the time he plays um, entry. Here we go. Easy. So learn these timings because the way he just flashed in and got laid out. Holy cow. Where was that guy? The timings that he flashes off his TP are like really honed. And you can watch this guy to find those. Like I'm almost, I don't even need to watch to know that our timing is going to be bad. Yeah, we just did it with no uh no flash. <laughs> okay, we're we need to breathe. We need to breathe. You you got a great frag, you got a vandal, but we need to realize we don't have the bomb. And back here, what I would really like us to do is like before you jump out of garage, you're back here, throw your TP this way. And now if you can get your hands on this bomb, you can plant A like really fast really fast we got a plan for the future B, B, B. oh my god and here is bam planning a and you plant in the open as your buddy wraps and the round is super super easy to convert well not super easy but a lot easier than it is now this round's a lot harder to co um to control nice. all right nice i ran to lays him out You are crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Same idea. So you grab the orb. Uh, uh, that's a little bit too dangerous for my liking. Uh, then you join the team. And now we're doing a team push. This TP, this TP, this TP. I need you getting it ready. I would probably put it like in this location. Because we have no trip, it's likely that they're going to take control of some of this space and flank us. And we should already be preparing for how we're going to deal with that. These off my contact. Can be in a smoke. Yeah, I'm going to be in a smoke. But that's it. <laughs> it's just broken. Like, that's broken, man. And bam, there's the flanker, A lobby. The cabbage just saw it. And this is when we can show up elsewhere. But instead, we have to give them a fair fight. And this is lame. This is lame. That doesn't work every time. Like it? Like it? Now stay in your zone. Chill. Slow down. 
Slow down, Omni. This is your bad habit. This is your bad habit. Bombs down. We got control. Players. Chill. Chill. I disappeared. Slow on duelist. Yeah, in the 4v1 with the bomb down. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's it's advice you probably never heard before. Crazy. Uh, jab, uh, jab, up, jab, jab, I swear, this guy's the type of dude to just pop that TP. Make sure <clears throat> He's back side, he's back side. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Holy shit, is she hell? Oh no. Easy. Just just yeah, yeah, we're in our zone. No! No, 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 our zone, our zone. Our zone. Okay, these guys are just AIs though. They actually just walked through that wall with no pop flash. Bro, 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 this is how you lose. This is how you lose 5v1s. This is how this guy ends up on rank dull tomorrow. And I guess bronze. And it turns out he was ascended. This chill, 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 chill. Okay. No, it's, it's happening. How's Phoenix going? Oh. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just real quick, so everybody knows, to jump out heaven, you don't want to jump at all. You can actually do it silently. So if you're in a, like, if it's smoked off, you shift, jump up on the ledge, and all you do is you just hold forwards. You can even do it with a gun out. You just run forwards, and you land here. So it doesn't make a jump noise at all, and you're not going to miss it. You just walk this way. And what you do is, if you're in like the clutch, you run out of the smoke. As you land, just make sure you shoot some bullets and start whacking them, whacking them. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll all the way, way down, down. Left side. Tommy, Tommy, we win. I'm tipping on. I'm tipping on. I like it. Nobody side. Could be good. And now immediately I want to see us tossing that second TP. Nice. Okay. Pause. Pause. Okay. The bomb's getting planted. We have sight control. Now I'm down to keep fighting, but I want our fights to get a bit more calculated. Where would I recommend post plant on C? Nice and quiet. No pressure. All right. Option one, come over here. And what I like to do when I'm back here, if I can, I'll also try and get somebody else to come. And I, I'll tell that guy, yo, could you fight? And I'll stay hidden and I'll be a rat and I'll get like two later. Uh, alternatively, you just, you get the CT smoke running again. And this guy like close left from garage will be like your contact. You'll know, swing flash. Option two, come around this way. You've got this guy here. You're looking and you position yourself up here. This is a really good angle. You're fighting CT and being able to finesse cover. You have to remember when these guys are playing retake, they've got the friendship crew. Yeah. They've got four tangos three tangos and they're gonna come out and if you're out here in the open and you and you lay one of them out you're gonna get laid out back that's one for one i want to get one for zero i want i want more than one for one except they're bad and we kill them no! <laughs> our post plant conversions are really bad they're really bad but you're old again your negative chi your energy is spreading to your teammates it's um it's like emanating making them play this way as well you've got this go 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 energy and it's getting everyone going really fast post plant's bad so we should just stop planting oh my god somebody give this dude the radiant icon that's the smartest idea i've ever heard this shit is so broken, dude. Dude. Backside. I'm back. Okay, pause. What do you think our hero Omni is about to do? A, go along with Reyna. B, tuck hell to play contact for Astra. C, push CT. Or D, look to fight Evan. <laughs> our team has the answer was A! Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's just looking for the enemy. 
Bro, chill. <laughs> Every single post plant. You guys just fall like dominoes. You have a duo. You have a duo. Work with this guy. Set up some plays with him. Bring him in. Bro, you're such an alpha. Wow. You're a duo, by the way. Nice shot. No, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Killed the flanker. None of us have to give heaven a fight. Oh, perfect. They're not heaven. Bro. bro, bro, bro. Oh, what? oh my god, you're crazy. What? Uh, you asked for this. You asked for this. This is a grave that you just dug for yourself, my friend. But I love your offense. Holy. That has to be the most alpha offensive half I've ever seen on this stream. My goodness. We just got to clean up these post plants and you need a bit more... Um, mental awareness of your tp rotations and otherwise we're chilling we're chilling One enemy oh my in the corner, in the corner. perfect pistol round whoa. Whoa whoa, whoa 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 what are we about to do we just won pistol round yeah i might just like tp over there you know? oh well now i know what we're gonna do <laughs> thanks <laughs> i might just tp over there yeah they're through yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me give you the play let me give you the play you want to get you want to get too crazy and you're gonna buy ghost instead of buying up on round two stay in this corner or this stair aim at this hole this this hole for your tp cutting through it's the andy tech He's got Yoru lineups. I got everything lineups, buddy. Into their spawn. Flank them this way. Real fast. However, you should just be buying Stinger or Spectre or Marshall. I'm really down for Marshall on Yoru. No, 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 What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we throwing so much value away? Okay, at least we got light armor. Oh, Sky, you want to go? Flashing again? Three, three minute, minute, three minute, minute, all three. three. Oh, 75 ran of healing. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so the problem is you started making footsteps right here, and these footsteps sold everything. This isn't timing. It's not just unlucky chat. It's not. He's making footsteps. It's not timing. His location is advertised completely. So she can confidently swing looking this way. Because you have to understand, in this guy's head, there's only two of us left alive. And our Reyna just revealed herself here. And now we've made footsteps here. So this guy is no longer afraid of anything on this side of B. All thanks to our footstep. If we hadn't made footsteps, this guy cannot confidently swing into B looking at this side. Because she doesn't have info. The, the footsteps gave away our location and then gave away the entire formation of our team because this Reyna was already spotted. So that's why she's swinging us here. <laughs> bro can't buy okay what i want to see you doing on yoru you're gonna hate me for this i don't care i don't want to hear oh but i don't know how to use that gun i don't care you're buying it on defense if you're gonna go ghost on round two then you're gonna bonus round three hard and you're buying an operator on round four because yoru operator is dominating the meta right now on defense and on maps like haven this gun's so good you know why you ask your duo q breach buddy to come main you post up and you tell him to walk up into this corner he gets to that corner and you go op C. And now you got an advanced yeah. position breach who can lock down A and you can go lock down C with your operator. You can do the same thing C long where you um you'll post up over here for your buddy, you get him into cubby and you leave. You leave. Same idea mid, you can post up window and have your buddies contest grass. Yeah. The op is super good and in Yoru's hands is actually really strong right now. It used to be the chamber bread and butter. But the relative strength of Yoru has gone up drastically since the chamber nerfs. This is a concept people fail to realize, but just because Yoru hasn't been buffed doesn't mean that he's not better now. Uh, if every agent in the game gets worse, Yoru becomes better. 
So even though Yoru hasn't been buffed, Operator Yoru is becoming relatively much stronger in the current meta. So I'd like you to, to buy it on defense. I know. All right, all right. Let's perform some basic arithmetic. The dudes be over here. The chain kind of broken. I would probably pick up B. Gun out, gun out, gun out, gun out. Okay, okay. You're lucky this is the garage guy. It's pretty common on Haven for people to send this mid lurker. Um, we need our gun out here. We need to be wary of that option. Deja vu. This is the same setup we ran last round. The smoke. Me. Bro, 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 go, go, go. Either push or, or leave, please. Already out, already out. Too passive, too passive. A, a weird round where I tell you you're too passive. Yeah. Speaking of a weird round. Of course you lay him out, dude. <laughs> okay okay you want to be alpha you want to be alpha yes of course you do so you get over here you lay this phoenix out and then the smoke pops the alpha player looks at the wall and you just know in your heart of hearts that they're not pushing through this smoke without a pop flash and then if they push through it without a pop flash and they kill you you just go heh, losers and if they they toss their pop flash you're like heh, i knew it and you turn around and you frag them and either way, you're winning. Either way, you got cool boy points. Up up the wazoo. What if you die? Then they're they're bad. But because we're looking at the flash, we're bad. And that is lame. The box is default, okay? Come on. You guys ready? ready? Yeah. Okay, if you're real cool, you're faking that TP and you're jumping out. Sunny? How cool are we? Aftershock? Oh, you know what? They all died. You're cool. You're still cool. You're still cool. I love it. Great retake. Or pacing, pacing, pacing. So you have this thing that's ready to bring you to the whole team. So I want you collecting all the info in the world. Pop your ultimate or something. You don't need to ult necessarily, but figure out, are they threatening to take A? And if they're not, you just join the, the homies. It's a bit passive, a bit passive. I was like, ah, let me just secure the round. Dude, your teammate needs to shut up. You need to tell your duo no talking about the last round when our current round's already going. Your brain is not 100% in this gunfight. On those eco rounds, I really like throwing like the TP that goes into their spawn. Like, crazy like rap plays. You just you just gamble. You gamble hard on the eco rounds. This shows a clear lack of awareness though. So here when we have our knife out, you should be looking at your mini map. You should recognize you know this TP sucks. And you should just take it because you're going CT anyways. It's a bit faster. And you're not gonna want to take this thing back A. It's out in the open. So we could have just saved some time there. That's so unlucky. He got sprayed. Okay, okay, okay. You're you kind of default. It's so it's such a contrast to our offensive half where you're like a psychomaniac. You kind of default in this anchor role, which is it's not incorrect if we're trying to play the map properly. But if we're trying to play solo queue optimally, I think it is a bit incorrect for us to be anchor here. Our we've already seen our A retakes kind of really cracked. And just most of the pressure this round has been in this location. So I kind of want you getting towards that pressure. Stop putting the round in your teammates hands. Like they might come A, in which case you're the, the uh, smartest Yoru in the world. Speaking of. God, you're so much better. Are you this? Crying in the club, man. Do you know those you know those um jerks in deathmatch who crouch in an off angle and they one tap you as you round the corner? And you go, Why are you doing that? What's that even practice? It practices this. Are you on this? We kind of should have laid this guy out. So I think you should go be that guy in deathmatch for a bit and controversial advice. But if you can't kill that guy who's full clomping at you when you're in an off angle, you have to learn how because that's a really easy shot. If that guy's making full noise, not expecting you and lazy clearing you, you have to punish that. Why would you need to practice that? It's the freest kill in the world. He didn't get it. He didn't get the kill. He's higher rank than you. You hear this guy coming this way? You gotta kill him. You gotta kill him. All you do, you crouch in the off angle. You hold it head height and you like time it off the noise. And you like, with Phantom, it's really easy. You'll just start spraying and they'll walk into the bullets. They're, I think they're trying to play for Phoenix ult. They're gonna see, I think. Good read. Yeah, they're gonna go see. King. Everyone rotate. Okay. They're gonna go see. You had the right read. We have the smoke. We gotta get our thinking cap. Thinking cap. So how do teams usually hit C? Because the way you get these multi-frags that you see these pros get is you anticipate how they're going to hit your site. With this smoke here, their sky's been flashing close. 
Okay, she pops her flash closed. So we're safe from that. We're chilling. However, they also don't have recon. They don't have a dart. They don't have a fade eye. And those things are really good for sniffing out a solo player in this region, which means like logically we want to be in that region because they can't easily sniff it out, if that makes sense. Because the downside to playing backside here is that if they push on these sides, you're crying in the club. If you play backside here, uh, they can only really push you in front of you. And the downside is you're stuck on an island. But in this case, being stuck on an island is not that big of a deal because you're committed to holding the site hey, and they can't easy. easily like clear you with recon. So I would have snuck back site and during that window with the smoke up to prepare for the hit. Are you him? We're not him. We're not him. Okay, how do we avoid this? So on Haven, we're falling into this common pain of rotate itis because um the enemy team is trying to hit the open site because that's like the mini game and you're trying to be on the site that they're gonna hit it's the answer is map control if we take control of c long and get somebody cubby like this we can really overemphasize our strong side of the map so we can turn we can play c weak side because of how strong our uh, position has become and we can stack more on a and this will make it much easier for us to stay with our like feet planted because if they come see this guy's like good for two and we're kind of chilling and the same idea happens on a so if like you're out here playing c and you call lot c in an ideal world your teammates are gonna take some space on haven they're gonna figure out what's going on get some space out a and you've been there you've been there on haven you've been on offense where you started a it's five and you go to rotate c and you get booty blasted by some guy out garage or you get booty blasted by some guy in your spawn or you get your rectums opened up by some guy in this angle. Um, we weren't doing that. We weren't taking these angles. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be that guy.